Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host. Once again, talking about Gotham now. Season 3, Episode 8. Now this was a pretty strange episode, in, in a good way. There were some good moments in this episode. Really, really cool moments in this movie, this episode. And episode, this moment, in a couple moments, that kind of made me cry. It, it was just very weird. We started off about having Captain Barnes once again him feeling the effects of what happened to Alice's blood getting into his eye and now he's becoming like this super Hulk kind of thing where every time he gets angry his blood and adrenaline kicks in and he goes in complete psycho mode. He was acting like Son and Grundy basically no care in the world just going after criminals and just beating them to a pulp with his bare hands and he's got super strength too which is weird and on the other hand you have Mayor Kababad, the penguin, still confessing his love to Enigma, Riddler. And of course he's trying to figure out how he's gonna deal with that, but yet Enigma is in love with Isabella, brought back once again by the person who played Kristen Kringle. And of course Edward is now trying is actually freaking out because every time he sees her, he actually reminds himself that oh wait, she actually looks like Kristen. And I might want to kill her. And of course, in this episode as well, you have Jim Gordon back in the GCPD. Once again, getting his badge back and feeling the ropes and coming back. And, you know, now they got to solve a crime of somebody chopping up people's body parts and taking people's faces off. And then, of course, you have, the, you know, Commissioner Barnes. He decides he's going to do it on his own. Go figure out who this guy is and try to capture himself. But, you know, the blood... And Joe and Rush keep, keep kicking in him, and he's really like losing it. What I like about this episode was that Barnes was crazy. I mean, this guy literally, there was a moment in the episode where he finds the killer and you know he arrests him, and then they let him go because there was not enough evidence or whatever it was. And then he's at the party where you know Lee Tompkins is having her engagement party, and you know he's invited. Obviously, some of the police department were invited. Jim wasn't, but yeah, he was invited. So he goes there and, you know, he sees the criminal in the bathroom and he literally just grabs him and starts beating on him. He literally throws him through the wall and he hits the ground and he hits on top of a car and dead. Now before, you know, all of that happened, you do have Isabella and the Penguin talking, you know. Penguin's like, listen, you know, because Edward feels like if he hooks up with this girl, and falls in love with her, he's gonna do the same thing to her what he did to Kristen. Choke her and kill her. Can we chop her into pieces? So he asks, hey Penguin, can you do me a favor? Can you break up her? Break me up with this girl? And he's like, don't worry, I got you. He goes to her house and he's like, listen, he doesn't want to see no more. Too many intentions is going on. He doesn't want to risk losing, you know, relapsing or whatever. And he's like, hit the bricks, touch, just disappear, don't don't contact him anymore. And she's like, Literally, straight up to the penguin. No! I'm in love with them. I found my soulmate. I want to be with them. I, I'm going to stay with him no matter what. And penguins is like, okay, you want to start this war with me, but fine. That's that's cool. Which got me, me thinking, I'm like, oh no, he's going to end up killing her. But then you, you have this moment where she actually got pretty smart. You know, he's, ha you know, Nick was everywhere he sees. If you remember season one, him talking to himself. This other personality is more cool, more sophisticated, more, you know, go after the person you want kind of person in the mirror. He's doing the same thing now with Kristen Kringle. Seeing, you know, her everywhere he looks and basically in the mirror she's telling him, you know, you kill me. You can't resist to be a killer. You know, you're going to end up slipping. And he's just losing his mind. And then in this episode, you, know, you have Isabella, played with the same actress. She decides to... Either A, dye her hair or get a wig, dress up as Kristen Kringle to make sure that the Riddler can, you know, f face his fears of trying to, yeah, I look like her, but you're not going to kill me because you have feelings for me just as much as I have feelings for you. And they actually, it actually works. And I'm like, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see this girl, this actress come back and do the role again. And she played the part perfectly again. And then the sad part of this episode was that they decided to just kill her again. Literally, the, the freaking penguin decides to just cut her brakes 
and she goes right into the middle of a train and dead. I honestly feel sorry for this actress because like, uh, yeah, your role's done as Kristen Kringle. Thank you for being here. You're a great addition to the family. We're going to miss you. Then they come up with this new character for her. Hey, why don't you come back? Play this new character. And what do they do? Oh, you're going to die in a couple episodes the same way, in a same similar way. You're just going to die. You're going to fall over Nygma and then you're just going to die. Me think this is going to be a bad situation because once Edward finds out that the Penguin did this, they're going to start to hate each other. But Penguin is going to be like, listen, I'm sorry, I, I apologize, I love you, la 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 la. Nygma's not going to have it, he's going to really hate him and try to take him down from the inside, probably. That's just a guess. And then this is going to snap the Penguin out of this and be like, what the hell was I thinking, loving this guy? And he's going to just decide, they're going to try to kill each other. Probably in the next couple episodes, but yeah, like I said, this is a pretty cool episode. <laughs> kind of messed up episode in a way, but yeah. Now, at the end of the episode, you do hear the bad guy who they were questioning tell Commissioner, tell, sorry, Gordon, that, listen, it was Captain Barnes who threw me out the damn bathroom out of the wall, and yeah, and then he just dies. So next week's episode is going to be about... Is Gordon going to have to take down his commissioner? And what's going to happen with that? And what's going to happen with Nygma and, you know, the Penguin with the fallout of Isabella's death now? So I don't know what's going to happen with that. And, of course, you have Ivy coming back and Bruce Wayne and Selena because they weren't in this episode at all. So let's see what happens. I thought this episode was fun. Cool episode. So out of what, out of 0% out of 10, I'm going to give this episode 7%. Out of 10, because it was fun. I liked it. It was cool. Made me cry at the end because Isabella's gone. The same, same actress who played Christian Kringle. She was cool in this show, but whatever, I guess. Why? Don't know. Anyway, I thought it was cool for what it was. Had fun. Gotham, to me, is just getting better as it moves along. Just the story plot details. Sometimes it just throws you for a curveball. I have no idea what's going to happen. And I like it like that. I like when it doesn't. And you don't realize what's going to happen, and you obviously find out what's going to happen, and you're like, oh my god. So, yeah, there you go. So, leave a comment below, let me know what you guys thought about the episode, if you've seen it, and stay tuned for more. And I'll see you tonight for the Arrow episode review. Thank you, have a good day.